it's an epidemic that's coming to us. It's this wave, uh, a pulse of, in, of the virus as it's spreading from person to person and growing exponentially. And the reason that uh, this is very important is that let's say, for the sake of argument, 100,000 Americans are going to die of this condition in the next year. It makes all the difference in the world whether those 100,000 die over the course of the next year or whether all 100,000 die in the next month. If they die in the next month, they're going to overwhelm our healthcare system. And many more Americans will die than would have died if we allowed our healthcare system and our supply chain to work. Joining me today is a sociologist and physician known for his research on social networks and on the socioeconomic, biosocial, and evolutionary determinants of behavior, health, and longevity. Nick Christakis, welcome back to The Rubin Report. Thank you for having me, Dave. Uh, I'm glad to have you back. Wish we could be doing this live, but obviously we're practicing a little social distancing right now. Um, with everything going on with Corona, I've been trying to find a wide array of people to talk to. You put out uh, what I thought was a really fantastic uh, Twitter thread. I rarely send people to Twitter, but you put out a great Twitter thread uh, that covered this through all of the disciplines that I just read there in your bio, which are quite extensive. So let's just start one at a time. The, the, the two things that people have heard the most about at the moment, social distancing and flattening the curve. Can you just explain both and why they're important right now? Yeah, so the virus takes advantage of the fact that we are social animals, that we assemble in groups, that we have friends, that we touch each other and hug each other. And, that, and it uses those connections that we assemble ourselves into these networks, it uses those connections as a highway to travel uh, through our species. And so the challenge for us right now is how to interrupt that highway, how to break the paths that the virus uses to travel from person to person to person to person. The reason that's important is that this flattening the curve idea. So, so we're going to engage in social distancing. We're going to stop interacting with each other. We're going to keep physically apart from each other. That's the most important thing. In fact, I've been advocating for a shift in terminology to physical distancing from social distancing. In other words, we, we can still interact socially, but from a distance mm -hmm. like you and I are doing now. <laughs> right. And, uh, and so we want physical distancing. We want to, the irony is we want to like, you know, bond together at the same time as we are sort of separating from each other uh, in terms physically. Anyway, the reason we're engaging in that physical distancing is to cut the paths through the network. And the reason we're doing that is to flatten the curve. What does that mean? Well, it's an epidemic that's coming to us. It's this wave, uh, a pulse of, in, of the virus as it's spreading from person to person and growing exponentially. And the reason that uh, this is very important is that let's say, for the sake of argument, 100,000 Americans are going to die of this condition in the next year. It makes all the difference in the world whether those 100,000 die over the course of the next year or whether all 100,000 die in the next month. If they die in the next month, they're gonna overwhelm our healthcare system. And many more Americans will die than would have died if we allowed our healthcare system and our supply chain to work. So we want to flatten the curve. We've got this peak of a curve where everyone, you know, the epidemic is coming at us and it's going to hit lots of people at the same time. We want to stop it from doing that and flatten the curve and push it out into the future. And when we do that, we achieve a number of objectives. First of all, uh, at any given point, fewer people are sick, so our healthcare system can take care of them. Many more might live as a result of that. Second, we, uh, we push some of the cases out into the future so that maybe some of the people that get sick eventually will get sick at a time when we've invented a vaccine or we know better how to treat the people. So we also gain that benefit by flattening the curve. And as I said, not only do we decompress our healthcare system, not only do we push people into the future when we might be better able to care for them, but we reduce mortality as well. So maybe instead of 100,000 dying, maybe 90,000 die if we push it forward. So, so that's why we're social distancing, and that's what flattening the curve means. Hey everyone, we're obviously in some uncharted territory with coronavirus, and our plan here is to help you make as much sense of the situation in a non-alarmist fashion as possible. If you're looking for reliable information from experts on the front lines of the pandemic, check out our coronavirus playlist, which we'll keep adding updates to right over here. And to get notified of all future videos, be sure to subscribe.